everybody and welcome to a short demo of Geodex moving object tracking and coring system capabilities. Um, this demo is focused on showing uh, Geodex um, feature of being able to query and monitor the live location of moving objects. Um, in order to facilitate this, Geodex uses um, a specific architecture which um, consists of three main components, namely the spatial temporal database engine the Julia middle layer and the graphical user interface. So in order to establish this connection, um, the spatial temporal database contains all the information about moving objects and where they are located at the moment. And then any query by any of the visual uh, interfaces that are built on top of Geodec could be sent to the spatial temporal database through a middle layer called Julia. So based on different graphical user interface that's using the spatial temporal database engine, Julia takes the query from the user interface and um, translates it to the standard query language that's understandable by the spatial temporal database engine and then queries the spatial temporal database engine. Once the results are returned, it then customizes the results and sends it to the sp uh, makes it understandable to that specific user interface that requested the data. So for our example of uh, the USC campus demo in which we t track the moving objects in the USA campus, three components of this system are active, namely the spatial temporal database engine, which provides the object information, uh, the Julia, which um, is a middle layer and sits between the Google Earth interface and the spatial temporal database, en database engine, and the user interface that we're choosing is the Google Earth. So these three layers interact with each other in order to make this happen. So let's go ahead and jump to that demo. Here's the USC campus, so let's zoom into that area. Um, in order to show the bus stations, uh, let's overlay a tram map of the campus on top of the USC model. So as you see here is the bus route map as well as some stations that we have in the USC campus and it perfectly aligns with the actual map of the USC campus. So let's make it invisible in order to see the details of the campus. Um, now what happens is uh, there are several stations in the USC campus. For our demoing purposes, we have modeled four of them, stations one through four. And as I said before, all the trams that are moving in the USC campus are equipped with GPS-enabled devices, and they send us their current information every two seconds, and the server keeps track of their information. So I can query the live location of all the trams at this moment. And as you see here, are the location of all the trams that are moving in the USA campus at this moment. This information is sent through Julia from the Spatial Temporal Database Engine, and it's customized for that specific user interface. In our example, the user interface is Google Earth. There are two sample query scenarios that I'm going to go through, but our architecture, of course, designs is designed to handle any type of other queries, any type of monitoring queries for that moving objects. The first um, sample query is the nearest neighbor query. So suppose there is a person staying at station number one and he wants to know where is the location of the closest moving object uh, or a tram that's getting to him. By initiating a find closest tram query, the user interface is actually sending a request to the special temporal database engine to compute the location of the closest tram at this moment. And then once the results are computed, it is customized by Julia and is sent to the Google Earth demo so that then the closest tram to station number one is highlighted. Not only can each station query for the live location of the nearest moving object to it, all these stations have the capability of monitoring continuously the location of the closest tram to them. As you see, each station is now querying the spatial temporal database engine to find the closest tram to it. And if um, tram 701 gets closer than tram 630 to station number 4, it automatically chooses station uh, tram 701 as the closest tram to it. Uh, so these are just two sample queries that are built on top of the Geodec engine, but any other type of query could be um, imagined or implemented on top of this model. One example is, uh, suppose there is a red zone area that we want to make sure no object is going inside of it or no object is going outside of it. In our example, this red zone area could be the USC campus we can very easily generate an alert if any of these trams is getting out of a specified boundary from before. 
So now let's see uh, if tram 701 gets closer to station number 4 and if station number 4 will choose that tram as the closest tram to it because it's getting closer to station number 4 that tram than tram 630. Okay, so it's moving towards north. At this moment, they switched positions so that now the closest tram to station number 4 is the tram 701. Okay, thank you.